Welcome to this free anaesthetic tutorial on the laser introduction. This is an important topic for anaesthetists taking the FRCA primary and frequently gets tested in the MCQ, the Viva and the OSCE components. Laser stands for light amplification of the stimulated emission of radiation. The laser beam is described as being collimated and this is where all the photons are moving in parallel. It is coherent and all the photons are in phase with each other and it is monochromatic in that there is a single wavelength beam of light that is produced. How does the laser work? A high intensity energy source, such as an electric current, is passed through a lasing medium and this could be a solid, a liquid or a gas. At rest, the electrons of the laser medium are in a relaxed state. When exposed to photons of energy, these electrons are excited into an unstable high energy level. When these electrons move back to the resting state, they emit a photon of light and this is in a random direction. This is called spontaneous emission. However, if the photon hits an, an excited electron, it will cause it to decay back to resting state and it will emit another photon. And this photon is parallel to, it's in phase with, and it's the same wavelength as the first photon. And therefore, this is stimulated emission. As more photons are emitted, there are more collisions with electrons and in turn, more photons are emitted again and this is amplification. The medium is housed in a resonator. It has one fully reflective mirror and one partially reflective mirror. The light that comes out of the housing is parallel with the axis of the laser apparatus and so passes through and causes a beam of light. Lasers have many applications relevant to anesthesia. Carbon dioxide is usually used for airway tumours, argon used for retinal surgery and different lasers will have a number of key qualities and these include whether the laser is a solid, a liquid or a gas, what its wavelength is in nanometers and the colour of the beam produced.